In this video I'm going to run through how to convert a system's difference equation into its corresponding B and A coefficient representation. And it's this B and A representation that tools like MATLAB and Octave will use when they're working with discrete systems, so it is important that you're able to do this conversion. I'm going to run through five examples, and I have five difference equations here shown on the left hand side with a corresponding B and A representation shown on the right. So after I run through these five examples, I'd hope that you are able to convert any difference equation into its corresponding B and A values. In the first example, I have a difference equation, which is given by y of n is equal to 3x of n plus 2x of n minus 1. And the a vector has a single element in it, or a single coefficient. And the b vector has two elements or two coefficients associated with it. And the a coefficients are always associated with the y terms in the difference equation. And the b coefficients are always associated with the x terms in the difference equation. Now, in the difference equation, I haven't explicitly shown it, but I could put a value of 1 here in front of the x uh, of the y term. And it's that value of 1 that corresponds to this 1 value here in the a vector. So remember, the a coefficients are associated with the y terms. The b coefficients are associated with the x terms, and we see that the x of n term has a, has a coefficient of 3 and the xn minus 1 term has a coefficient of 2. And those values of 3 and 2 correspond to these b coefficients of 3 and 2 over here. So that's pretty straightforward. So let me just clear away the red writing and move on to the second example. In the second example, once again, we've only got one y term and we have 1, 2, 3 x terms. And we have one a coefficient and that single a coefficient corresponds to the coefficient associated with the y term which again isn't explicitly shown but is there at that value of 1. The three uh, coefficients in the difference equation that are associated with the x terms are 0 0.5 now this one isn't explicitly shown but it is minus 1 I'm going to put in the 1 there now and 2 so we've got three coefficients associated with the x terms and these are, uh, are these values shown over here so I've got three b coefficients. Now it's important that you get the order of the coefficients correct. This one here is always associated with the coefficient in front of x of n. The second value here is always associated with the coefficient that's in front of the x of n minus one term. And this third value is always associated with the coefficient in front of the x of n minus 2 um, term. Now, let's move on to the third example. And it's slightly different, because in this case, um, I've once again only got one y term, and therefore have one a coefficient. And that's associated with the coefficient in front of the y term. And it's a value of 1. Again, not explicitly shown, I'm just writing it in now. But I have 1, 2, 3, 4 b coefficients. But I have only 2 x terms shown in the difference equation. Now, this can be more easily understood if I rewrite this difference equation um, as I'm going to show now. Just let me sh show you something. Let me, uh, there we go. So that difference equation now shown in bold is the same as this difference equation up here but I'm explicitly showing all the x terms and by that I mean I'm showing x of n, x of n minus 1, x of n minus 2 and x of n minus 3. And when I write it out like that these four b coefficients then make a little bit more sense. The minus 1 here corresponds to the minus 1 that's shown here. So again, the 1 isn't explicitly shown, but it is there. This second uh, b coefficient, value of 0, corresponds to this 0 value that's here. The third value of 0 corresponds to this value of 0 here, and it's associated with the x of n minus 2 term. And this fourth value of 1 corresponds to the value or the coefficient associated with the x of n minus 2 term. 
again not explicitly shown but it is there so that value of 1 corresponds to this value of 1 here so again the order of the B and also the A coefficients is important and hopefully this will make sense as we're going through now let's move on to this uh, next example and in this next example we have two y terms we've got y of n and y of n minus 1 now we've got a single x term value of 2 that's probably the easiest one to start off with the x terms or sorry the, x, the coefficients of the x terms are always associated with the b coefficients in the b and a representation so this value of 2 corresponds to this value 2 here okay and that's pretty straightforward what can cause confusion in this example is I have two coefficients value of 1 which corresponds to this value of 1 here and a value of minus 0 0.3 but shown in the difference equation we have this value of plus 0 0.3 and that generally does co cause a little bit of confusion it makes more sense if I rewrite this expression again let me show you it so there we go so there's this expression here or this difference equation is rewritten in bold now and what I've done is I've taken all the y terms and taken them to the left hand side of the difference equation and the x terms are on the right hand side and when we group the terms like that the a coefficients make a little bit more sense and this is the original way that difference equations were expressed with all the y terms on the left and the x terms on the right and this is why we get this value of minus 3 here even though it was shown plus 3 in our original um, description of the difference equation let's move on to the last example now let me just clear away that writing first and um, again we have a set of B and A values uh, and in both cases we have three A values and three B values um, again we've only got two X values explicitly shown and you'll notice that the X minus there, there is no X n minus one term and there's also no Y of n minus one term and that's the reason why we have three values shown here with the zero here and maybe this will make a little bit more sense if I show you uh, this difference equation rewritten in a different way so I'll just show you that there so what I've done here is I've done two things first thing I've done is I've grouped all the um, y terms on the left hand side I've actually noticed a little mistake that should be a plus value so let me just write that in there, that should be plus because when I brought this term over to the left hand side it will go from being negative to positive so let me just show you that plus there uh, so I've done two things, I've brought the y terms to the left hand side and the x terms to the right hand side but I've also introduced the missing terms if you want to put it like that so I've introduced y of n minus 1 and I've also introduced x of n minus 1 uh, but I've multiplied them by zero so mathematically these two uh, difference equations are the same but I've just introduced some terms to make them uh, relate to the B and A representations more easily so when we look at it in, expressed in this way we have um, this value of 1 that corresponds to the coefficient that's in front of the y of n minus uh, sorry the y of n term in this difference equation so there's a value of 1 there again not explicitly shown but we can put it in this value of 0 corresponds to this value 0 uh, which is the coefficient of the y of n minus 1 term this value of 0 0.2 is uh, associated with the coefficient of plus 0 0.2 which is associated with the y of n minus 2 term in this difference equation okay so hopefully you can relate the a coefficients to the coefficients associated with the y terms in this difference equation. Similarly, the b coefficients are always associated with the x terms. That 0 0.1 corresponds to this 0 0.1 here. This 0 over here corresponds to this 0 here that I've circled and now underlining. And this value of 1 corresponds to 
this value 1 which isn't its own explicitly but is there implicitly and it's associated with the x of n minus 2 term. So I'm hoping now after seeing those examples you'd be able to take any difference equation and obtain its BNA representation. Thanks for your attention.